So I will turn the presentation over now to our budget manager, Catherine Chevalier. So our finance director got to give you the good news. So I'm going to start here. Property tax and sales tax are our two largest revenue sources. They account for two-thirds of our operating budget. In the next few slides, we'll take a look at these two revenues in a bit more detail. Our property tax revenue situation has taken a turn for the worse since we talked with you in May. The continuing decline in transaction volume, real property transfer tax receipts, the increase in delinquencies countywide, further resets in variable rate mortgages coming in 2009, as well as an increase in foreclosure activity countywide have caused us to reduce our future revenue projections. According to our latest reports, the countywide delinquency rate has increased from 3.5% to 4.8%. Locally, transaction volume is down 2.9% compared to the same time last year while real property transfer tax revenues have decreased by 33% through October of 2008. This decrease in revenue with a relatively small decrease in transactions means that our sales prices are now falling. Although the real property transfer tax is not a large portion of our revenues, around $1 million, it can often be an early warning signal as to what is likely to occur in the future relative to overall property tax revenues. In contrast to other parts of the state where property values have already gone down, Fremont's median sales prices were holding steady through fiscal year 0708. However, for the first time, we are now seeing softening of the median sales prices that we have not experienced before. According to DataQuick, the median sales price in Fremont fell by 23.8% in October of 2008 compared to October 2007. In the sales tax area, we are seeing similar trends to what we're experiencing in the property tax category. Sales tax revenue only grew 2.5% for the year, year ending June 30th, 2008 compared to a year earlier where the year-over-year -year growth was a much higher 3.7%. We are experiencing declines in the areas of automobile sales and construction and general retail is flat. The softening of sales tax is largely due to the decline in consumer spending and since <coughs> June 2008, the economy has worsened significantly. From what we've already observed for the first quarter of fiscal year 2008-09, we know that we are being adversely affected by the economy. We had been projecting a 4.3% revenue growth factor as part of the adopted fiscal year 2008-09 budget. Now, using the best information we have at this time, we have revised that growth factor down to 1.8%. Given the volatility in the economy, the 1.8% may need to be lowered even further. The lowered growth estimates are primarily in property tax, sales tax, property transfer tax, and vehicle license fee revenue. Transient occupancy tax, also known as our hotel motel tax, although now projected lower than our budgeted amount, is still increasing, although at a much slower pace than in the past four years. Fortunately, Measure MM was passed by the voters, which increased the transient occupancy tax rate. However, we don't expect an uptick in revenue in fiscal year 0809 due to the lower room rates that we're seeing. This slowdown in transient occupancy tax revenue could continue into fiscal year 910 as well. Occupancy, sorry, occupancy is slightly lower, but the room rates have decreased so we are not projecting the growth that we otherwise would have expected. The combined results of lower projections means that at this point, we think we will take in $3.6 million less 
than we anticipated when we adopted the budget in June. This slide takes our year-end results and updated revenue projections and applies it to our fiscal year 2008-09 and fiscal year 2009-10 projections. The first column of numbers shows the fiscal year 08-09 adopted budget. The next column of numbers to the right, which is sh shaded, includes our current update. The far right column shows our fiscal year 9-10 budget projection as we begin to see the impacts of the recession. Looking at the revenue and transfers in line, we know we're starting from a lower revenue base for our two largest revenues, property and sales tax. And our assumed rate of growth has been revised downward as we begin to see the continuing impact of the recession. So rather than taking in $140.7 million in revenue in 2008-09, we have revised the estimate to $137.1 million, a decrease of $3.6 million and that number may get worse if property tax delinquencies continue to increase, if consumer spending continues to decline, and if the state's budget troubles affect us. The effect of lower revenues is an increased shortfall of $3.6 million in fiscal year 2008-09. The fund balance, along with the use of the budget uncertainty reserve, will help us bridge the gap as we develop sustainable recommendations for Council's consideration in February. However, you can see that the projection for the following year would use up the balance of the budget uncertainty reserve, leaving us with a remaining $6.8 million deficit to address in fiscal year 910. So now that I was able to deliver that not so good news, I will turn the presentation back over to our finance director. Thank um, Certainly these numbers are um, cause for concern and, um, and we are very concerned. We're continuing the strategies implemented last year and although these strategies were intended originally to be temporary in nature, we now expect that they will be ongoing, although the, some of the details of the implementation of those strategies may change. We currently have in place an ongoing $1.5 million reduction in the general fund and we are holding open selected vacancies citywide. These vacancies are placing a strain on the organization and our ability to deliver services to the community. We're looking closely at our expenditures and departments have been asked to reduce expenditures wherever possible. We have not yet updated the uh, expenditures and transfers out for what we think is likely to occur. We'll be doing that at mid-year and so we do expect that there will be some savings um, in that line. Um, these estimates will be reported to you at the mid-year budget review in February. In addition, we're working with departments to identify sustainable budget reductions for the future because we know we need to bring the budget back into balance. We typically bring the latest financial information to you along with any new recommendations at the mid-year budget review in order to plan for the next fiscal year's budget, 09-10. Unfortunately, this year is anything but typical. In light of the impact of the recession and possible implications of the state budget and actions that the state may take, we'll come back to you in February, or I'm sorry, in January, and regularly thereafter until we bring the budget proposal to you in May. And with that, I will turn the presentation back over to the city manager. I wonder if maybe we should get some questions. Oh, I have, I, let me uh, conclude, Mr. Mayor, if I could. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, in summary, we ended last fiscal year slightly better than we anticipated when we adopted the budget in May. However, we now have a significant gap that um, we are beginning to address. When we adopted the fiscal year 0809 budget, um, we had an operating gap of 6.3 million. Now, with the information we've received just in the last past few weeks, we believe the gap will grow to 9.9 .9 million. Uh, the fiscal year 2009-10 projection uh, shows an expected operating gap of $11.2 million. The economy is in recession and most economists do not expect a recovery until 2010 or later. It's hard to really figure out where we're at right now, um, but I would say we are somewhere between a significant recession and an economic freefall. 